I'd like to ask Brother Jason Haver to come forward, please. Good evening, brothers and sisters. It's only customary I bring greetings from the executive and members of the Bermuda Public Service Union. This year is Labor Day theme, Solidarity for Equality, Jobs, and Justice, is something I find extremely fitting and noble. It speaks to sentiments that individuals in the community have rallied around for a few months now. The sentiments of equality, the sentiments of jobs, the sentiments of justice. I'm in partly on the front line of trying to push these sentiments of equality, jobs, and justice within the community. But there is many in the community that want me to stop thinking about things that need to be done. They want to stop speaking up against things that we think are wrong. And they want to stop fighting the fights that need to be fought. Our brothers and sisters, that's not going to happen. When you hear me quiet, it means the battle is either already won, or my father has taken me to a greater place. But this is Labor Day weekend. And what we should be doing is giving appreciation to all the workers that have been in the labor movement for many years. Brother, sister, Molly Burgess said that this is the 33rd annual banquet. I wasn't even born when they began these things. <laughs> but what it reminds me is, is individuals have been contributing to this jam of Bermuda long before I even began to contribute. And they have laid the foundation and the platform. And I would like to say to those individuals, your efforts have been genuinely appreciated because Bermuda is something that we can be proud of. In addition to those that have been in the labor force and worked hard over those years, we have to reflect and at where we are now and think about what can we do for the next generation. How can we provide them with the support so that they can come and contribute the same way like those that have passed. So I simply say cheers for this wonderful Labor Day, I enjoy Labor Day. This is the best holiday because it celebrates what I actually believe in, and that's the workers. And I would like to say, Brother Chris, thank you for having us as your invited guest. And when you call next time, we'll be here again. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I asked Brother Jason to come because, and I was hoping this can give you his age because uh, we need, the trade union movement needs younger leadership. And Brother Jason is what our international affiliates ask for when they ask for youth. They consider a youth to be 35 and under. So as soon as you pass that threshold of 35, according to the international affiliates, you're no longer a youth. You're now entered into adulthood. So um, I want to thank Brother Jason for, for his, his words. Um, uh, and yes, we will extend an invitation to you again in the future. Now, we're supposed to have mutual respect and mutual trust for each other. And that's what we're gonna get back to the table and do. So Dr. Braun, I certainly wanna thank you for encouraging us what's right is right, what's wrong is wrong. And many times, and, and I think the OBA is experiencing this also, media power. How you say one thing to the media and they twist it around and, and it's all of a sudden means something else. Welcome to the club, because that's what the BIU and the PLP have been complaining about for years, about how the media does certain things. He encouraged us to wake up, and he talked about functional unity. And that's all the things I'll touch on now. And I'll leave you for a quote. 
from Tony Blair. He said this probably maybe about a week to 10 days ago. My view is that you still, in order to win from labor's perspective, have to have a strong alliance with business as well as the unions. You have, you have got to be very much in the center ground and on things like public sector reform. And that's Tony Blair. He's so right. Because whilst we believe that public service needs to be reformed, some of the things that I think you know, is proposed for public service reform is way out there in left field. What we've said is that public service reform, I think the TUC has said it, we support public service reform. How do we go about getting it? People are saying government's too big. Let's take one department at a time. Let's just say it's 20 departments. Go department by department and decide exactly how many people we need in those departments. As opposed to somebody just making a black blanket decision, we've got 5,000 government workers and there's too many. We might not have too many. We might not have enough. I don't know. But certainly, the union is playing a more active role. I can tell you right after the, um, the banquet last year, we've been having conversations with our, with our members about work ethic. And a lot of employers are shocked Probably some of our members are shocked that we're talking to them about work ethic, about them making the time and doing the work and sick leave and, and all those sort of things, about wearing your uniforms. And the reason why we're having that conversation, because the CBA is signed between them and us. We're a party to that agreement. So when it speaks about you making your time, whether it's 8 o'clock, when it speaks about you wearing your uniform, all of that is for both parties to manage, the employer as well as the union. So the union is prepared to do its part. And all I'm asking our social partners to meet us halfway. And I don't think that's too much to ask for. Thank you. Mr. Perry, just give me uh, some brief remarks just on, on the speech tonight and, you know what I mean, and, and what you thought about it. Well, first I've enjoyed being at the BIU banquet tonight. Um, I'm always in support of labor and the value that it brings to any society. Um, I thought that the end, uh, the president, Chris Ferbert's message was very pertinent. Everybody should pay attention. to. That's the type of theme that we need to get out there for Bermuda. I support him 100%. I look forward to working with him. Evening. Uh, labor is the essential element for making any business successful. Good labor and good management basically go hand in hand. Um, and I think this year the, the cause of solidarity and the issues of labor are paramount for fairness and basically the most important thing in the way forward is job creation and we really have to get on with it and we have to come together as a community not be dysfunctional and get to work again. I just want to say that the keynote speaker, the Honorable Dr. Brown, some would say that he hasn't left us and I'm sure he hasn't but I think his message tonight was on time, it was precise, it was the truth and the audience needed to hear the truth. All the aspersions and all the innuendos about what he has done and what he hasn't done, stealing cedar beams, all that nonsense, I think he put that to rest. And I'm proud, like most of the people that's in this audience tonight, we're proud to hear the truth. I think Bermuda needs to wake up and pay attention. Nothing happens unless the time is right. I think the time is right for our conscience to be pricked and knocked. Bermuda, pay attention. This is our country and we must take it to where it has to go. And I say, God bless Bermuda, and God bless Dr. Brown, and the movement of the Progressive Labor Party and the BIU, and God help the OBA to understand that. Amen. All I can say is wow about Dr. Brown's speech. Uh, we are at a time where solidarity amongst Bermudians is very, very important. And I'm going to speak about um, solidarity from the perspective of an, of an artist. As a trustee of the Bermuda Union of Entertainers, um, I just want to say that it's time for artists to come together and show their solidarity as well. Um, I believe that the new industry for Bermuda is the performing arts industry and everybody knows it. We're not talking new industry enough. And I hope that in the future, that's what people are going to support. But we have voice too. And I I want uh, people that have something to say to use our voices to get that message across because we can sometimes communicate better through actions, through pictures, and through music, you know what I mean? So um, it is time for solidarity. I want all the artists to come together and push for Bermuda for Bermudians, and that's what we should be about. I always enjoy coming to the BIU banquets. They always have excellent speakers, and it's a chance to get and celebrate labor. Labor is what has built this island from the ground up, and labor is what is going to keep it going strong. 
I look forward to seeing everyone out on Monday. Come out to the BIU and so we can have the, the Labor Day rally and the march around town. And then, you know, we can start looking. As Dr. Brown said, we need to get our island back on track and get our island to a position where it's working for everybody and not just a select few. That is the key. That is the thing that I think I took from his speech most. We, the people, have the responsibility to force the government to do the right thing. As far as Labor Day, we have to remember that it is important to celebrate workers, and that is what Labor Day is about. It was a holiday that was fought for, and we must remember the workers at this time because the workers are the most important part of this country, and without the workers, we wouldn't have all the benefits that we have today at any point in time. So whether it's your trash, whether it's a hospital, whether it's making sure your power is on, we have to make sure to remember that it's not just capital, it's also workers, and we have to celebrate that. Wonderful, marvelous. It was what needed to be said, and now we have to react. Yeah, good evening, Bermuda. Uh, I just want to thank Dr. Brown for once again reiterating the truth. Um, not so much what the uh, UBP are doing, but what we as Bermudians need to do. We need to uh, put aside petty differences, work together, as he said, functional unity, to achieve what we have to achieve, because if we don't, there's no more Bermuda. So I just want to thank Dr. Braun, thank the BIU, thank the people of Bermuda. As far as the union goes and our people, it's a great time, it's a great weekend to celebrate the hard work of our people. Um, this country was built on the shoulders and the hard work of our workers and uh, it's a great time to celebrate their efforts and uh, I'm looking forward to playing my part and along with my grandchildren as well. Dr. Braun uh, spoke very well tonight. Uh, his message was clear, uh, it was precise, and it's something that I think the country needs right now. Uh, so I'd like to thank Dr. Braun for, for speaking. He spoke from his heart, and Dr. Braun is, um, is a great guy. And I just thought uh, the speech tonight by former uh, Premier Dr. Ewart Brown was profound in many ways, spoke to truth and also spoke to the relevance of us having a tuned-in conscience with regard to the current state of affairs in this country, politically, socially, and otherwise. Um, and that, you know, we need to concentrate on being functionally unified uh, because that's where we will find our direction in uh, looking to move forward in a way that would bode well for future generations of this country as the stewards at this point in time. Labor means everything think to the right-thinking Bermudian because it's because of our labor that uh, the country is still one of the best places in the world, notwithstanding the challenges that we have. Um, I don't think there is any challenge that is unsurmountable and with functional unity, I believe that we can move forward in lockstep, uh, finding ways to cooperate so that we can guard uh, as gatekeepers the well-being of our wonderful, beloved country.